welcome back to my channel. Today on Neeta's Indulgences, we are diving into the rich and vibrant flavors of coastal cuisine. I'm cooking up something that's not only packed with bold flavors, but surprisingly easy to make. Get your spices ready and let's create some delicious dishes together. So what are we waiting for? Let's crack on with it. Hello there. Today we are making a coastal dish, prawn vindalo, a fiery Goan dish that blends with tender prawns with a spicy and tangy sauce. Okay, now I'm going to add some coconut oil. Add finely chopped three onions. So let's saute this onions till it's translucent. Yes, I'm going to add a little bit of salt so that the onions get quickly caramelized. Let's add one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste to this lovely caramelized onions. At this point, we are going to add two teaspoon of chili powder and two teaspoon of cumin powder. Okay, saute these powders really well. Make sure not to burn them. Let's add finely chopped tomatoes. Keep cooking those finely chopped tomatoes until they are soft and mushy. Let's add some salt to this tomato gravy. Let's add half a cup water and combine everything nicely. Let's add a pinch of sugar to this tangy tomato gravy. So roughly two teaspoons of vinegar. Add half cup of water. Now the star ingredient, our dear prawns. Combine the prawns to this beautiful tangy gravy. Look at this, it smells so delicious. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt because I feel it's a little less in the gravy. So just a little bit. Right, and now we are going to give it a stir and then cover and cook this for five to seven minutes. Our prawn bindalu is ready to be savoured now. Let me switch off. Done. So the second dish is bagara rice. Now this is a fragrant rice dish cooked with aromatic spices. Now this pairs perfectly well with our prawn vindalu. So let's get started. So for bagara rice, we are going to add some oil and some ghee. Now we are going to add some whole spices, so some bay leaf, not some, so it's just one and three cardamom pods, cinnamon sticks and cloves, that's it. Now let this splutter. up, let's add some onions, Woo! So let's add some salt to caramelize this lovely onions. One of the key ingredients um, is this ginger garlic paste. So make sure you add at least one teaspoon of this. 
Uh, keep sauteing this till the raw smell of the ginger garlic goes. Add two cups of water. Season with salt. So once the water starts bubbling, add the rice. So I've added two cups of water. So for two cups of water, we are adding one cup of soaked basmati rice. Give it a stir. Now let's cover and close. Wait for the steam and one whistle and we switch off. Now we wait till the steam completely cools down and then we open this cooker. How about a spoonful of happiness? Oh wait, I mean ghee. Moment of truth. Let me see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm. It's really yummy. Not because I made it, but very good. There you go, folks. Our prawn bindalu and bagara rice is perfect for any occasion. Hope you give these recipes a try. Can't wait to hear what you think of these recipes. Please do share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye bye.